What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel here at 88 Rotors Off-Road where we have a new compilation for you guys to enjoy today. We're going to be doing a bunch of Tundras, so keep on watching to see what we have in store. 88 Rotors is located in sunny Southern California. We're about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, please feel free to reach out to us by phone anytime during business hours or you can always message us through the contact form by clicking on the link in the description below. We're starting off with this second generation Toyota Tundra that we're doing a body mount chop on to clear some 35 inch tires. For the suspension setup on this one, we're going with the King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks all around. The front's adjusted to about 3 inches of lift and we're using our Camberg tubular uniball upper control arms on it. For the rear, we're lifting it with some shackles, giving it about 2 inches of lift. Tire of choice here are the 35 12 and a half 18. BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2 tires that we're wrapping up on an SCS Ray 10 wheel. With the new suspension and new shoes on, we're going to bring this one out for a quick test drive in the parking lot before we hand the keys back over to our customer. If you like what you see here and want to see more, make sure to follow us on Instagram. You can find us at 88 Rotors Off-Road for the truck side of things and at 88 Rotors for the car side of things. And over here, we have the sibling of the Toyota Tundra. This one right here is a Sequoia. We're doing a King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilover and shock setup on here. Body mount chop to clear 35s with some Camberg tubular uniball upper control arms. Fill vector wheels and some 35, 12 and a half, 18 BF Goodrich all-terrain KL2 tires. Next up, we have a 2022 Tundra. We're doing a Westcott Designs lift kit on this one with some new wheels and tires. This is a Tundra Platinum equipped with the iForce Max motor. This twin turbo V6 produces 437 horsepower and 583 pound-foot of torque. Here you can see our tech installing the airbag leveling link bracket. I think I made a mistake earlier when I said that we were going to install some wheels and tires on this one. The customer actually wanted to install the Westcott Designs lift kit only. Over to the next one, here's a second generation Tundra that we're doing a body mount chop to clear some 35 inch tires. We're installing the air lift, load lifter airbag system on this Tundra along with some King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks all around with a lift block in the rear. In order to maximize the performance of the King coilovers up front and articulation, we also installed some Camberg tubular uniball upper control arms. And here's the completed body mount shop that we did. Hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far, and if you did so, please find time to click on that thumbs up and give us a like. It makes a big difference for this video and the channel itself, and it definitely encourages us to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. 
we're also swapping out the exhaust system on this one. Our buddies over at Toyota sent us this TRD split exit dual exhaust with black chrome tips. Have you guys noticed that we just work as a team here? With multiple techs working on the vehicle simultaneously, we cut your wait time down drastically. To finish off the job on this Tundra, we also installed a Method MR309 wheel in an 18 by 9 size. We wrapped it up in a 35, 12 and a half, 18 Toyo Open Country RT. We have another MGM Tundra that we're doing a body mount job on. This one is to clear some 35, 12 and a half, 18 BFG KO2 tires. We wrapped them up in a Method MR305 for this one. For the lift on this one, we went with the King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks with compression adjusters. We also did the Camberg tubular unibot upper control arms up front and our lift shackle in the rear. one's done so we're bringing it out for a quick test drive before we hand the keys back over to our customer well that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video thank you very much for first stopping on by and checking us out we greatly appreciate it Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, take care, guys.